Once cardiac arrest has been identified, it is critically important to reestablish blood flow as quickly as possible and minimize interruptions to chest compressions. This segment will demonstrate the basic steps for deploying the autopulse. Subsequent sections will depict more detailed, advanced methods specific to out of and in hospital settings. To rapidly deploy the autopulse, sit the patient up. Perform a single cut of the clothing down the center of the back. Turn the autopulse on using the recessed on-off switch at the head end of the platform and slide the board into position under the patient. Basic instructions are clearly laid out on the user display. It says, align the patient on the platform, close the life band, and then press continue. Defibrillation pads should be applied according to local protocol. If anterior-posterior is the preferred placement, the back pad should be placed while the patient is sitting up or prior to being rolled onto the board. If apex sternum is standard, both pads should be applied after the patient is placed on the board. Lay the patient back down on the board, ensuring the armpits are just above the yellow guideline. Alternatively, the board may be placed to the patient's side and the patient may be log rolled onto it. Remove the clothing from the patient's upper torso by pulling it down from the sleeves. It's important to remove all of the clothing from the patient's upper torso to avoid interference of the clothing with device operation. In addition, the direct skin-to-board contact helps minimize the possibility of the patient sliding. Alternatively, the shirt may be cut up the front midline and up the right arm and then removed during the log roll. Once the patient is properly placed on the board, apply the front defibrillation pad if local protocol is anterior-posterior placement or both pads if apex sternum is the preferred method. Next, close both sides of the life band by placing the side marked with the number one on the patient's chest. Then, use your index and middle fingers to guide the yellow female alignment slot on the bottom side of number two over the yellow male alignment tab on number one and secure the assembly with the Velcro that is attached to each side. If local protocol is shock first, perform a quick check rhythm assessment and shock if necessary. If local protocol is CPR first, initiate operation of the autopulse. Pull the assembled life band up to its fullest extension to set the internal motor to its starting or home position. And while doing so, ensure that the bands are not twisted and they are at a 90 degree angle to the board. Place the life band on the patient's chest, ensuring that the yellow alignment tab is placed over the spot at which you would normally perform manual chest compressions. Once the life band is properly placed, press the green continue button. The autopulse will automatically size the patient's chest, measuring the appropriate size, shape, and resistance of that individual, and then determine the force necessary to compress the chest the prescribed amount. No one should be touching the life band during this process. After sizing the patient, the autopulse will give you three seconds to check patient alignment. If the patient needs to be realigned, press the orange stop button, realign the patient, and press the green continue button again. If the patient does not need to be realigned, you have the option of pressing the green continue button to begin compressions immediately. After this three second alignment check interval, if neither the green continue button nor the orange stop button is pressed, the autopulse will automatically begin compressions.